In this video, I will provide you with a few methods that can be used to eliminate squeaks from your stairs. And uh, first on the list would be what we have here. When a stringer moves up and down up against a wall framing stud, and that would be to simply attach some type of a framing anchor to it like we have here, or even nail it. It was common just to toenail the wall stud into the stringer. Or you could use screws to attach it. Again, I'm kind of just throwing this out there because you might not be able to access the stairway. Um, so if you're not interested in pounding a hole in it and you have drywall on the inside, then maybe you could use some type of a backing board and screw it or nail it into the wall framing studs and uh, give the stairway some support for this. Now I recommend that you watch the first video I made on why stairs squeak and I'll put a link here so that you can go back and see it if you haven't seen it already. It's good to have an understanding of why they squeak in the first place um, as to a better understanding of how these methods will work to stop them from squeaking. Here's an idea for anyone who has a stair squeak where the back of the tread is moving and rubbing up against the front of the riser. And that, of course, would be to use screws, nails, you could use staples, anything you want. I just don't recommend gluing this. If you glue it or put an adhesive on here, very good chance it's just going to uh, pop off. If you want to take the stairway apart and reapply the glue or adhesive to the front of the riser, that's different. That might work better, but why do that when this right here will probably solve your problem? Pre-drill a hole and make sure that it's centered in between the thickness of the tread. And if you don't know how thick the tread is, you could always drill a couple of holes and uh, see what uh, the thickness is. Most of the time it's going to be three quarters of an inch, so you're just going to come up three eighths of an inch and drill your hole. And then of course, make sure that you drill a hole that's going to work. Don't drill a hole that's going to be too big. When you slide a nail in there, it's not going to, the nail's just gonna fall out because you drilled too big of a hole. Make sure you're still gonna have a tight fit. And of course, you could always use adhesive, you know, if you could get it in there and then put the nail in there, that might work. And of course, here's the screw and the nail. And over here we have it where there are the nails have been driven in. Just kind of wanted to give you an idea. Here's the center of the tread. The tread here is three quarters of an inch. We come down three eighths of an inch. And then of course our nails are preventing the riser or the tread from moving. And I'll leave it up to you if you want to put three or four in here, knock yourself out. One might do, um, two. And again, I have a stapler that is uh, has inch and a quarter staples. It's a crown stapler. And uh, that would work perfect for something like this. Just take and staple, put about five staples in there and you would be done. And then I wanted to show you one more thing. That's kind of a repair if you can access it from the bottom. But what if you can only access it from the top and the bottom has drywall or something on it? And if that's the case, Take and just get a saw. All you need to do is put a gap here. The tread will move now, but it won't be rubbing up against the front of the riser making the noise. So you could always just take and do this by getting a sawzall or a handsaw and getting it in between here and just cutting a little bit until you get um, an area to where you're, the tread's a little bit farther away from the front of the riser. This repair is going to represent the most common stair squeak. And that, of course, would be from lumber that has dried and shrank or might have been installed incorrectly. And if that's the case, instead of having the tread go up and down and rub on the nails, just simply use some screws to keep it from moving. So put a couple of screws in there. And this can actually be done through the carpeting also. If you have hardwood, some of these repairs probably aren't going to help you out. But if you have a stairway like this, it's squeaking and you're replacing the carpeting, then by all means, put a couple of screws in there, even if it isn't squeaking, just to uh, prevent it uh, from squeaking in the future. I mean, that's probably one of the worst things we can do is 
you know, build something and there's no squeaks and then we carpet it or we put a tile floor on it and all of a sudden we have a squeak. Irritating. If you can't access it from the top but you can access it from the bottom, you could always put some type of a shim in there. Um, quarter inch, whatever it is, eighth of an inch. And, uh, and again, there are different materials you can get at your lumber yards and home improvement centers that are um, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, stuff like that, that you could use to slide in here. And you could always use some type of an adhesive. Just put the adhesive on the board or put it underneath the tread and then slide it into place. And something like this will probably prevent your stairs from squeaking. So again, most stair squeaks are from something rubbing up against something else. That is the most common squeak. And it might be a tread rubbing up against a nail or another piece of wood rubbing up against another part of the house or another piece of wood also.